Well, praise the Lord, New Life Apostolic Church. Uh, once again, uh, I want to say uh, uh, it's good to be with you, and and uh, we appreciate all of you. And I hope the morning service was a, an encouragement and inspiration to all of you. And remember, we are the church that is victorious, the church that is uh, able to defeat all foes, all enemies, and all circumstances. And and uh, for this devotion that is being posted uh, for Sunday night, because we're not having regular service uh, because of the curfew, I, I want to encourage each and every uh, member of the church to be faithful, to be strong, to be trustworthy, and uh, keep your spirit you know, where it needs to be, keep your mind uh, uh, where it needs to be, and and keep prayed up, and and make sure that uh, you uh, apply all the principles of the Word of God. You see, we as the church, we uh, represent a, a force. We represent a a a, uh, a power, which is of God, of course, that is the. Uh, strength not only of our church and our church people but of our world and the church is the light of the world the church is the strength and it is the the, the deciding force and the factor that uh, can change uh, the motion and the direction of uh, things that are going on uh, I appreciate all that God does and uh, and I appreciate his spirit, his power. And, and I know you, each and every family, that uh, you're being careful and you're asking God to give you strength to protect your family members and loved ones through uh, these times and this season of life. But uh, remember, uh, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. God is an able God. He's a mighty God. He will get us through it. You know, the scripture where it says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's simply stating that when you have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost and it's living inside of you, that that means God himself is living inside of you in your spirit. And there is no power in this world that can defeat the power of God. There is no power that can destroy uh, what God has done for you. When you got the Holy Ghost and you become a child of the King, you know, we know that every spirit in this world, every devil, every situation of life tries to tear us down and tries to create in our hearts a, 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 a diversion or tries to get our mind off of worship and prayer. But, you know, let's keep going back to that scripture that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That means through Christ, I can do all things. Through Christ, I can conquer all things. Through Christ, I can, uh, I can feel his power. I can feel his strength. I, I have the ability to overcome everything in the world that comes against me. I appreciate uh, God and I appreciate the church. And each and every one of you are very critical and important to the continuation and the growth of God's kingdom. One of these days, we will get out of this place. Uh, the trumpet will sound. We will be, be removed from uh, this life and this world. And But until then, let's continue steadfastly. To keep the faith. Keep the right attitude. Keep prayed up. Keep in tune with God's word. Uh, stay humbled and submitted to God, the man of God, and his word. I believe that now, this all will be something that we will look back to someday, realizing that God had a plan in it, a plan that we do not understand, a plan that we uh, sometimes can't put our finger on. But I encourage the church to stand steadfast, to be faithful, to be strong, and to be true. Let's look forward to a better day in Christ. Let's, let's look forward to a better time. And let's keep our mind on Jesus. And don't, don't let uh, stress, worry, confusion destroy who you are. We are people of the name of Jesus. We've got the power of the Holy Ghost. We've got his glory. And I encourage every, every saint, every mama, every daddy, every grandma, every grandpa to stand steadfast and be faithful. We appreciate you. We love you. 
and we'll keep you posted on the Wednesday night service. You have a blessed evening, and until we see you again, God bless you.